السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مے بی پیس اپان آل آف یو آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دی ایگزٹینس آف گاڈ ان اسلامک پرسپیکٹو آئی فسٹ آف آل وانٹ ٹو کلیریفائی دیٹ دی مسلمس ڈزن بلیو ان مور دین ون گاڈ ایون وی سی that the bible was re- revealed upon jesus but this book uh, is in tempered form now this is not in its original form and we believe that the god of the jesus and the god of muslims is same jesus and muslims god is same there are no different gods mm, whichever religion is if they believe in false gods we muslims don't believe in like uh, i say that the atheist a person who is an atheist is good uh, than a person which uh, believe in a wrong god or which believe on a false god atheist is good than a person which believe in a false god right because uh, as, as as according to our shahada la ilaha there is no god and an atheist fulfill this the, 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 this part of shahada an atheist complete this that there is no god but allah but allah we believe that there is a god there is one god there are no other gods first of all i want to clarify this after this i will tell you the simple way for a common person to understand the existence of god for example i am going to tell you uh, a simple example of atom atom here you go for first of all i want to tell you that the uh, atheists are atheists because they want to uh, to be atheist they don't want to believe in god they don't want to believe in god uh, even if they have a logic or not but their the logic is that if we we don't see we don't see a god we don't <coughs> judge feel taste or Um, uh, means means that an atheist don't uh, uh, know a god he uh, or a person we even we don't see god don't uh, uh, can talk with god these are the their their logics that because we cannot see because we cannot touch because we cannot talk to him then th- this means that there is no god there is no god this is their logic right now i want to t- uh, clarify some things as i said that i will start from basics i will talk about the atom let's suppose in 80s in 80s before uh, the uh, discovery of um, before the invention of uh, uh, electron microscope microscope no one believe in atoms existence right no one believes believes in the existence of atoms right and they were right according to the atheist definition that there was let, let's see the definition which atheist do for god let's do this definition for atom then it means there are no atoms exist right because we cannot see we cannot taste we cannot watch we cannot feel everything atom that means that there are no atoms i am talking about the 80s the before the invention of electron microscope but now we know that even that was the logic but now we know that that the <laughs> logic was wrong 
logically it was wrong because the atoms are not uh, um, and came into existence after electron microscope but the we we get the uh, equipment to see or to uh, observe the atoms after electron microscope right but the atoms does exist before does exist even before right that means that means that if we cannot touch if we cannot taste if we cannot feel if we cannot see if we cannot talk to that doesn't mean that something does not exist right and now the i i hope that the you you got my logic and secondly we uh, there are phenomenes phenomenes of nature we we are going to talk about we know that nothing can be created nothing can uh, can be created from nothing from nothing means that as as it's a, a law that matter cannot be created nor uh, it be destroyed but it uh, converts itself from one form to another right so we know that from nothing even we are creator even we are there even we are creators even we we interfere in the process but still we cannot uh, create a anything from nothing we cannot create anything from nothing right so now what science says science says science says that the age of this universe is the age of this universe verse is 13.8 billion years right that's that's what science says it means that there was no universe before 13.8 billion years that means that universe came into existence right and we know that nothing can be created from nothing then uh, if if we um, believe in the atheist logic that the universe came into existence existence by itself by itself then universe should then universe should not stop not stop the universe should not stop it should continue creating um, things from nothing for example we cannot even even create a small stone where we are in 20th century 20th century we have the technology but we cannot create a small stone create you you know the meaning of create that creation from nothing <coughs> creation means creation from nothing not the, not changing one form to another creation means from nothing right that's why we say that there is a god that created the universe that's our logic you don't you are not supposed to uh, believe this this logic now i am going to tell you about that what we muslims believe we muslim believe that there is one god there is one god and uh, quran is the holy book revealed by revealed by almighty allah the god the god the creator okay now i i i just ask one question that if i uh, ask from you that there is something uh, any subject any entity uh, for example uh, let's say car there is a car and that car uh, no one knows about this car 
the first person who will be the first person who will be the first person first person to know about that car right what will be your answer your answer may be uh, the creator of that car creator of that car right manufacturer right this is what you can you can say the first person who can know about this car is the creator or the um, the person who made this car or the manufacturer whatever you say right and now we are talking about the universe who who could know who could know about the universe who could be the first person first who could be the first person to know about the universe obviously the answer is that the same the creator the manufacturer right that that's okay no 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 i will tell you about we don't believe in quran blindly we don't believe in quran blindly right why do we believe in quran because quran is the book of god how 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 we could know how we could know that quran is the word of god right because the person who could know about the universe has mentioned many uh, scientific facts before their discovery i will discuss them later but f- first i want to make sure that the quran is word of god because the creator mention things that we have invented in the uh, 90th or 20th century the creator told about these things these those scientific scientific facts 1400 years ago right now i will show you how here we go here we are going to tell you about the miracles of quran miracle prophecies of quran quran also have a miracle of language because quran challenged allah challenged everyone in in his book revealed by him say should all human beings and jinn rely to bring the like of this quran they will not bring the like of it even if they assisted one another allah says that no one can bring this kind of book uh, and you 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 can search on internet that the quran is the most uh, reciting book the book that is most recited is quran okay and now we 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 go with the prophecies of the quran first of all When the prophet was in Mecca a war broke out between the Romans and the Persians the Persians were victorious in the battle which made the Meccans extremely happy since the Persians were idolaters Byzantium has this is Quran Byzantium has been vanquished in a nearby territory territory but following their defeat they will be victorious in a few years this was a prophecy of quran in a few years the romans defeated the persians right this is a prophecy of quran no when the prophet was about to migrate medina he was extremely sad because he was leaving his home then allah revealed this verse indeed he who has revealed to you the quran will surely restore you to the place of return say my lord knows best him who brings guidance and him who is in manifest error surah qasas verse number 85 and the prophet returned to makkah in a few years 
the third prophecy prophet had a dream that he was entering mecca it was followed by this verse certainly allah has fulfilled his apostles vision in all truth you will surely enter the sacred mosque god willing in safety with your head shaven or hair crop without any fear as mentioned earlier this came true now we are going to discuss the scientific miracles of quran first we will talk about the life the human embryo embryo development quran discuss this the description of the development of the human baby is described in several places in holy quran here in surah zamar verse 6 allah says he creates you in the womb of your mother's creation after creation in a threefold darkness that is allah your lord here allah has mentioned threefold darkness let's say which threefold according to science according to modern scientific language the three wheels of darkness refer to the interior abdominal wall the uterine wall the amniocoronic wall these are the walls mentioned in the picture also these are the three walls that that science mentioned later quran has told about them uh, 1400 years back here the human embryo, embryo development quran verses certainly we created man from an extract of clay then we made him a drop of seminal fluid that is nutfa lodged lodged in a secure abode then we created the drop of fluid as a cleansing mass that is called alqa then we created the cleansing mass as a fleshy tissue that is that is mudwa then we created the fleshy tissue as bones that is idwama then we clothed the bones with flesh lahma then we produced him as yet an other creator so blessed is allah the best of creators that is surah al mu'minun verse number 12 to 14 here allah has discussed Uh, uh, the uh, complete process of human how a uh, human uh, came into existence let let's see now uh, first allah says that we uh, created with the nutfa seminal fluid we made him a drop of seminal fluid nutfa let's say what nutfa mean nutfa means sperm cleansing mass allah says the next process is cleansing mass this is the human embryo and this is the leech the cleansing mass alka is called the blood sucker a leech which we say you you can tell you can see the images similarity between the leech and the human embryo this is not i think uh, uh, this this the uh, who can mention this the creator the god and now god then example the fleshy tissue mudwa chewed substance that means chewed substance look at this 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 is the embryo and this is the gum how similar they are who could have mentioned this the god the creator the manufacturer the now the other scientific fact the origin of life in water the idea of life originating in the ocean is strongly supported in the holy quran as quran mentioned in surah anbiya verse number 30 and we made every living thing out of water and in surah nur verse 45 allah says allah created every animal from water and now look at it is believed that early forms of life developed in oceans or pools it has been suggested that the 
कॉलोनाइजेशन ऑफ लैंड अबाउट फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्रिपल जीरो ट्रिपल जीरो ईयर्स एगो वॉज पॉसिबल ओनली बिकॉज इनफ ओजोन वॉज दैन प्रोड्यूस टू शीड द सर्फेस फ्राम अल्ट्रावाट लाइट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दिस इज इनसाइक्लोपीडिया ऑफ ब्रिटेनिका एंड कुरान से दिस दैट वी क्रिएटेड एवरी थिंग लिविंग थिंग फ्राम वाटर the ongoing process of creation there are verses in the holy quran which indicate that allah has not finished creation rather it is an ongoing process and allah says in surah nahl verse number 8 and he creates what you do not know and in surah nur verse number 45 allah creates whatever he wishes indeed allah has power over all things the emergence of new galaxies from huge clouds of nebula the evolution of species this is all the ongoing process of creation now uh, we will talk about the cerebrum which is a part of brain allah has mentioned this in quran allah said in the holy quran about one of the unbelievers who forbade the holy prophet from praying at the uh, kaaba if he does not stop we shall seize him by the nasiha front of the head a lying iniquitous nasiha this is surah al alaq and verse number 15 now <coughs> look at the cerebrum this area of the cerebrum from from of the head is responsible for motivating planning and initiating good and sinful behavior and is responsible for the telling of lies and the speaking of truth and allah has mentioned this in quran let us see uh, the uh, next is the origin of the universe one of the most popular and widely ac- accepted theory in science is the big bang theory This theory states that the universe was created from a small dot of energy that exceeds our imaginations. This dot of energy exploded creating the necessary material for the creation of the universe. With the passage of time hydrogen and helium atoms begin to combine and create galaxies, stars and planets. The origin of the universe The science of modern cosmology states that at one point in time the whole universe was nothing but a cloud of smoke a highly dense and hot gaseous composition that's what Quran says let's see where Quran says Quran says in surah fusilat chapter number 41 and verse number 11 then he turned to the heaven and it was smoke quran has mentioned this fact 1400 years ago sentence sentence can now observe new stars forming out of the remnants of the that smoke and now we can judge that who can uh, mention this fact 1400 years back the origin of the universe it's continued because the earth and the heavens above sun moon stars and everything have been formed from this same smoke we can conclude that the earth and the heavens were one connected entity and quran has also mentioned this have the faithless not regarded that the heaven and the earth were interwoven and we disjoin them in surah anbiya chapter 21 verse number 30 quran also talk about the expanding universe scientists discovered the universe was expanding in the 90s mean in 20th century the scientists came to know that the universe is expanding we have built allah says we have built the sky with might and indeed it is we who are its expanders and the earth we have spread it out so what excellent spreaders we have been 
Surah Dariyat, chapter number 51 and verse number 47 to 48. Quran has also about, uh, talked about the theory of relativity by Einstein. The world experienced a great leap in science when Einstein proposed his theory of relativity. According to the, his theory, time is relative and it depends on the speed at which one travels. A mound, a particle smaller in size than an atom, Einstein discovered this theory in 1921, mean 20th century. Allah has mentioned this 13 hundred and thirty years ago Allah says he directs the command from the heavens to the earth then it ascends toward him in a day whose span is a thousand years by your reckoning a sajda surah number 32 verse number 5 and Allah has also mentioned the theory of relativity the uh, change of time, the angels and the spirit ascend to him <coughs> in a day whose span is 50,000 years according to us. And Quran also uh, talk about earth, the shape of the earth. Today we can look at a globe and know that the earth is somewhat like a ball or a sphere. Allah made this clear in Quran 1400 years back. He winds the night over the day and the winds uh, the day over the night and he has disposed the sun and the moon each moving for a specific term. Surah Zamar chapter number 39 verse number 5. Winds Kawara which is used in describing the action of cooling a turban around the head. Allah also clearly described mountains in the Holy Quran. Have we not made the earth as a bed and the mountains as peaks? Surah Naba chapter number 78 verse number 6 to 7. Here we go. Modern earth science have proven in the later half of the 90th century that mountains have deep roots under the surface of the ground several times their elevations above the surface look at this picture the mountains like pages have deep let me show you have deep roots embedded in the ground so Quran has mentioned this fact 1400 years back you should again question yourself and you should ask who could have mentioned this fact which we are going to discover in uh, 90th century 1400 years back that's the creator that's the manufacturer Allah says in Quran that the mountains hinder the shaking of the earth look at this he cast in the earth firm mountains lest it should shake with you. Modern theory of plate tectonics holds that mountains work as stabilizers for the earth. You know, uh, earth stabilizers, uh, the mountains are earth stabilizers. And Quran has mentioned this 1400 years back. Quran also talk about the clouds. Metallurgists have long studies thunderstorm clouds to understand how they form the clouds are pushed by the wind to an area of convergence the cloud join together forming a larger cloud stacking when the clouds join together they grow vertically as it is stacked these are process and Quran has mentioned all the process here have you not regarded that Allah drives the cloud the he composes or joins them and he piles them up whereat you see the rain issuing from its maidest 
meteorologists have recently come to know these details using equipment such as satellites plan and computers the proportion uh, the proportion of rain allah says in surah zukhruf chapter number 43 verse number 11 and he sent down water from the sky in a measured may manner measured manner and we revived with it a dead country this measure the word measure mentioned above deals with a couple of characteristics of rain at any given time the amount of rain which falls on the earth is exactly the same this is a complete measure 16 million tons of water evaporates from the earth this number is equal to the amount of the water drops on the earth in one second another measure related to rain is its falling speed minimum altitude of rain is 1200 meters an object with rain's weight and size would fall at 558 km per hour but the speed of the rain is 8 to 10 km per hour the proportion of rain the atmospheric layer where it starts to rain is minus 40 degree centigrade despite this rain drops never turn into ice particles the reason is that the water in the atmosphere is pure these were the facts that we discussed about the miracles uh, we discussed about the quran that quran is word of god quran is let me quran is word of god because Quran proves Quran proves many scientific facts, scientific facts, and you know we 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 know about the probability. You have also probability, probability. <coughs> Quran has never. Quran has never. has never mentioned mentioned any verse which is against against the modern science modern approved science you got it and no one can predict predict such accurate prediction except god you know if we uh, let, let's say the probability if you uh, throw the coin the coin one time one time then the chances of head and tail are 1 by 2 right but if we draw uh, throw it two times then the chances are 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 multiplied by Uh, one by two, and it becomes one by four, and so on. But Quran has all the predictions that are accurate, and uh, that are uh, as same as the, our uh, modern science. So we have to believe that the Quran is the word of God, and there is a Creator who knows. about the facts that uh, he mentioned earlier 1400 1400 years back which we came to know in 20th or 21th century so i will be waiting i will be waiting for your for your questions questions and uh, your your suggestions suggestions feel free to feel free to ask and uh, you can guide me guide me where i am wrong and i am really sorry if it's difficult if difficult for you to understand my understand my because i am not english speaker i am from pakistan and hope 
hope that was informative for you. Inshallah, we will meet again. Thank you so much.